We know that the changelings had sent their own into other quadrants to explore and ultimately return with the experiences that they had had. There's also evidence that the Dominion was aware of the Federation long before the wormhole. When you consider the level of knowledge that the Dominion intelligence had on Starfleet, there is only one explanation. Tuvok, one of the best security officers Voyager ever saw, was a changeling infiltrator. While many scoff at the thought that Tuvok could be a changeling infiltrator, looking at the evidence, it's quite compelling. Tuvok, or at least his face, has been seen throughout the centuries, including the 23rd and 24th century. And yet, it appears to be a different person every time. Think about it. The first time Starfleet records someone matching the description of Tuvok is during the El Orion Crisis. The Enterprise B, on her maiden voyage, would attempt to save refugees whom were trying to go to Earth. They had been stuck in some phenomenon. During this time, a human lieutenant would attempt to transport them away, but be unable to due to temporal flux which in itself is kind of sketchy because this lieutenant should have used tech tech to make it work. Kind of curious that he wasn't able to, but it would be impossible that someone matching the description of Tuvok would be on this ship. The Tuvok we know and love was on the USS Excelsior. Now some may try to counter that, well, Tuvok just looks human here. He's actually still a Vulcan. He just transferred from the Enterprise to the Excelsior. Don't make me laugh. This doesn't make any sense, as we know Tuvok graduated in 2289 and began his first cruise on the Excelsior at that time. 2289 was the exact same year the maiden voyage of the Enterprise, so it would have been impossible for him to transfer over. And do we really know that Tuvok graduated in 2289, or is that what the Changeling wants you to think? Perhaps the human lieutenant had done all he could on the Enterprise and became Tuvok. During his time on the Excelsior, Changeling Tuvok would gain information and vital intelligence on Starfleet operations. Now, according to him, he had a change of heart and left Starfleet. While he states its personal reasons, could it really have been that he was reporting back what he found to the Dominion? And mysteriously, this human that looked like him disappeared too never to be seen again. And then in the 24th century, we see Davor, a supposed member of a group of mercenaries attempting to steal the Enterprise D. Perhaps the Dominion needed more information on the Galaxy class and Changeling Tuvok as Devor convinced the mercenaries to try to steal it. Last we see Devor in the episode, a hypospray was used on him. However, he's never seen killed. Changelings, perhaps, wouldn't be impacted by the same chemicals that solids are, and the changeling was pretending to be knocked out so he could escape. It would make a lot of sense, and in fact, the next time we see someone that looks like Tuvok would be a Klingon named Takar. Now this Klingon supposedly absolutely hated the Federation and Klingon Alliance, which would make sense if you're a changeling wanting to cause disruption. He captures DS9 and pretends that it's all to kidnap Dax, but during which time he would be able to download vital information and schematics on the base and send them back. After this, he would disappear again, and all of a sudden, Tuvok decides to rejoin Starfleet. He'd be stationed on a ship that was designed to fight and defeat both the Borg and the Dominion. Is it making sense yet? We'll never know if his attempt to gain information on the Federation would have ultimately helped the Dominion defeat the Federation, as Voyager would be lost, and that new journey begins. Now, some of you will call this a stretch, that I'm going out there, that I'm desperate, that I need views, but let me say this. Tide goes out, tide comes in. You can't explain that. Oh my God, dude, I'm freaking out. I am so stressed out. I feel like I'm having a panic attack. You wanna talk about stress? You wanna talk about stress? Okay? I've stumbled onto a major company conspiracy, Mac. How about that for stress? What the hell are you talking about? This company is being bled like a stuck pig, Mac, and I got a paper trail to prove it. Check this out. Take a look at this. Jesus Christ, Charlie. that right there is the Vulcan. Now let's talk about the Merkin. Can we talk about the Merkin? Please, Mac, I'm dying to talk about the Merkin with you all day, okay? Tuvok. This name keeps coming up over and over again every day. Merkin. This mail's getting sent back to me. Tuvok. Tuvok. Yeah, I look at the mail with well, this whole box. Is Tuvok. So I say to myself, I gotta find this guy. I gotta go up to his office. I gotta put his mail in the guy's goddamn hands. Otherwise, he's never gonna get it. It's gonna keep coming back down here. So I go up to Merkin's office, and what do I find out, Mac? What do I find out? There he is still. Tuvok. The man does not exist, okay? So I decided, oh shit, buddy, I gotta dig a little deeper. There's no- Tuvok. You gotta be kidding me, I got boxes full of- Tuvok. All right, so I start marching my way down to- Human Lieutenant. And I knock on her door and I say- Human Lieutenant. Human Lieutenant. I gotta talk to you about- 
Tuvok. And when I open the door, what do I find? There's not a single goddamn desk in that office. There is no human lieutenant. Matt, half the employees in this building have been made up. This office is a goddamn ghost town. 